We're here to talk about the future, and in my business we call that ESP. I asked you to think of a number between 35 and 100, is that correct? Did you tell anyone the number? You wrote it down, you sealed it in an envelope, and you've got it, is that correct? No one else knows that number? Angie, do me a favor, think of that number if you will. We're going to do this as quickly as I can. Try and visualize it. Angie, you could have thought of any number. Do you see your number up there? You don't. Angie, you could have thought of any number. What was the number that you were thinking of? 88. Remember, this is interesting. I didn't write 88 the way you're used to seeing it. However, you'll notice if you were to add 7 plus 12 is 19, plus 1 is 20, plus 68 is 88, Angie's number, which might be pure luck until you add the second row. 2 and 8 is 10, plus 67 is 77, plus 11 is 88. If we go down this way, you get 88. If we go down this way, we get 88. Not only that, you picked her. If you were to count all the chairs in the first rows across here, there are exactly 88 chairs. Not true, but it'll keep them busy. Uh, <laughs> however, we can take it a step further, because you'll notice if you add 68 plus 3 plus 9, you get 88. If you add 7 plus 67 plus 10 plus 4, you get 88. That might be pure luck until you add 68 plus 4 plus 9 plus 7, you get 88. If you add these four, you get 88. These four are 88, these four are 88, these four are 88, these four are 88. There's over 105 different ways to make 88. And let's give Angie a big hand for thinking of 88. My show is designed so that it's customized for whatever venue we're in. So if it's a large scale production, no problem. If it's a small, simple show, we walk into the ballroom, turn on the house lights, I am ready to go. No, actually I am in a great mood today because it's a brand new jacket. Do you like it? It was a present from my wife. Came home last night, I was hanging over a chair. So. It's a little big, but it came with a wallet, so what do I care? But, uh... okay, but do you have a clean white handkerchief? All right, go like this then, Rick. All right, yeah, okay. <laughs> Just by a show of hands, how many people here believe in ESP? Okay, for that gentleman there who raised his hand, here's a joke for you. Hope you enjoyed that. All right. Thin and thicken, thin and thicken. Fair enough, we're gonna have a, just, just hold that right in place, good. No, not with your hand, just like that. Marianne, when he lets go, we're gonna have a little race. Which end is gonna win the race, the thin end or the thick end? Thin end lift. Up, oh, it's a tie. Magic is an international language. No matter where you're from in the world, you understand what's going on. It crosses all borders, whether it be socioeconomic, levels of employees, whether it be executives, down to the trainees. Everyone loves it because it's got that sense of wonder, that sense of awe. It brings you back to your childhood. Is there someone here who I can quickly borrow a $100 bill from? Your name is? Sam Palmisano. <laughs> Now, now play, play along or I'll be forced to turn you into a handsome young man, all right? Yeah. <laughs> We're going to try a little experiment. If it doesn't work, I personally will give you a crisp $100 bill. Fair enough? On the bill, write anything you'd like so in case you see, I mean, when you see the bill, you'll recognize it again, all right? George, may I borrow that 100 back? That's terrific. You're folding it for me, but we're going to take a look at what you wrote just so that we recognize it again. George, you wrote $400 on it, right? Yeah. But we are going to try something in the field of ESP. I'm going to take your $100 bill and I'm going to seal it inside the envelope. Now, George, here's where it starts to get fun because I have three other envelopes that look exactly the same. In three of them are folded blank business cards. One of them, George's $50 bill. Now, so George, when I snap my fingers, I want you to yell out if you think it's in one, two, three, or four. Fair enough? Here we go. Two. Number two, an excellent decision. Hold on to it. Don't open it up quite yet, because you know as well as I that in any business venture, George, there's a little bit of risk involved. But I feel pretty darn confident that's why I brought this. Nothing, nothing to worry. I have never missed this. Either time. Yeah. Hey, look at the pretty green flame, George. 
Those are burning beautifully, but I feel pretty darn confident. George, it's all about teamwork, working together, communicating. Open up your envelope, take out the $100 bill, and show everyone what happens when you work together. And as I said, that's what it's all about. Is that the bill? Bummer. George, I said if it didn't go right, I'd give you a crisp hundred. Doesn't get much crisper than that. Right. I want to show you something that I hope you'll never forget. You wrote 400 on it. I had no idea you were going to write 400 on it. This is something a little bit unusual, a little bit strange. I see a gentleman right over here. Your name is? Right over here, yes. Frank. Frank, stand up right where you are. Frank, where are you from? Michigan. Sorry? Michigan. No, I heard you. I'm just sorry. Um, <laughs> Frank, I'm going to ask you something that I hope you'll never forget. I'm going to ask you, if you will, to slip off your right shoe. Yes, actually take it up, lift it up, hold it high up in the air, look down inside the toe. Do you see inside there a folded $100 bill with the word 400 on it? No. God, I admit, that would have been a hell of a trick. <laughs> Well, thanks again, George. All right. Yeah. Right. Wait, 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 wait. I must admit I did come prepared just in case of emergency. You'll notice I have a zipped wallet. In there, just for emergencies, I have an envelope that says fire insurance right on it. It's still sealed. I haven't had to use it before. Does that say 400 on it? It does. Is that the one you gave me? 